So in previous session, I spoke about we can integrate Salesforce and AWS S3. So now to do this AWS S3, so we need to understand what is this AWS S3 and what are the things I need to do to make a successful integration. So when I say AWS S3, I'm going to follow these steps. I have to set up a AWS account to where I want to connect from Salesforce. I want to uh, create the bucket in the S3 where I want to store my files and I want to connect with Salesforce. Then I want to get access key and secret key. So these three most important point we have to take care in Salesforce, in, in AWS. And in Salesforce, we'll write some kind of code to make the connections. So we'll do step by step. First, we'll see the AWS part, what kind of thing I want to do in AWS S3. When I say AWS S3, it's nothing but Amazon Simple Storage Service. It's like a object storage service, which is offered by Amazon, where you can, you can uh, use to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere. Okay, so we'll see that. So we, we're not going to talk more about what S3 and what we're going to do. So technically, our main focus, how can I take the file from Salesforce keeping in AWS? So to do that, first I want to create a AWS account. So I have taken a new email ID completely. Okay, so with this email ID, I'm going to do setup. Okay, so if I go to here, AWS, okay. So now you can see an option called create an AWS account. See, if you have AWS account, you can use it. If you do not have, you can simply create an AWS account. Okay, so when I say you can create AWS account, what you can do? Simply click on this create an AWS account. So it will, it will take few input. This also ask you about your credit card, uh, but it will not going to charge anything to you. Okay, so sign up for AWS. You can enter the email ID. For example, I'm going to put the email ID as, you can put your email ID if you want to create your AWS account. And let's say I want to give the name as this. Okay, now I can click verify email address. So you create your free AWS account. So to this email address, we are going to get one email. This might take a couple of minutes. Yeah, I got it already. So you got verification code, copy it, put it here. Click on verify. Okay, then you can set your password. I'm setting my password. Click on continue. So there is basically five steps you can see. And always you can see if you want to sign in to your existing AWS account. But I want to create a new one so that you can see how am I going to create new. I'm clicking on continue step one of five. Okay, then you can see uh, some questions here and to fill it. Like how do you plan to use AWS? It's for the business for personal then your information so i'm saying for personal okay and my name i'm going to put as devasis jena and i'm going to keep my mobile number as 56283662 you can select your country code you can put your number okay let's put my country code what i am i am in right now then I want to put some address. Let's I just say Dubai. Let's I put like this. I read all the terms conditions. Continue to next step. So now in this step, it asks about uh, to provide credit card details. Okay, so we will not charge you for uses below AWS free tire limit. We may temporarily hold one USD or equivalent amount uh, for the verification only. Okay, but they are not going to charge anything. You can feel free to fill your card information. Okay, I am going to fill my card information. I am just going to pause my recording here. Once I fill and click on verify continue, then in the next screen I will show you how what I am going to 
get it. So now I'm going to pause the recording for some time. So in the previous screen, I fill my card information. Then in the next screen, I come the post screen where it says sign up for AWS to confirm your identity. So I'm going to put my number once again. So let's see five, six, two, eight, three, double six, zero two, my number. So here you can see to fill the capture. So simply I'm going to put my capture. I hope capture is correct. You can see your capture and you can put it. Or if you or if sometimes if you feel you don't able to read it, you can refresh to get a new one, new capture. Then click on send SMS. So we'll get SMS on this mobile number. Okay, the now then the security check I entered wrongly. Let me put it once again. Okay, now the mobile number what you have given, you will get a uh, SMS with your verification code. Take that verification code and put here. I got in my mobile number, my verification code as 2435. You can continue it. So now we are done with my account setup. So now it's asking what type of account you want. Like they think when you have Salesforce, you have different edition like developer edition or you can say uh, unlimited editions so what kind of edition you want so it, here you can see three options basic support free basic support from 29 dollar per month business support so it definitely you can choose now for basic support and complete the sign up so now this is the step only you have to follow to create your aws account you can see it says congratulations Thank you for signing up with AWS. Then next we'll see what we need to do. So we are done with my first step. I have my AWS account. So, but what I want to do, I want to take file from Salesforce to AWS S3. So I have AWS account. So where I'll store file? I need some bucket. Okay, I, I need the S3 service from AWS. We'll see how am I going to take S3 service. How am I going to create a bucket and what is bucket? Then we'll see how Salesforce can pass this file to AWS. Stay tuned. We'll see that in the next session.